<laughs> Hi guys, it's seven o'clock on a Saturday night. Um, that means all the crazy Aussie mailers are here and watching. Well, I hope so. All right, just give me a couple of minutes, guys, while I um, find the comments here on Facebook and uh, we can get us started. If you guys are watching, give me a little hello so I can make sure I can see all your comments. Okay, nearly there. Beautiful. Jenny, hi, how are you? Marion, good to see you. Hey, Susie. Kim. Hi, Annette. How are you, love? I love some of those outfits I saw you in through the week, Annette. Very cute. You make a very lovely Kippy long stocking. Hey, Leanne and Chris and Diane. <laughs> Hello, Wes. Bonnie, good to see you. And Christina. Fantastic. Everyone's coming on board. Hey, Silver. Shirley, good to see you, love. Hey, Joe. <clears throat> okay, great. And Dawn's here. That's it. The party's about to get rough. All right, guys. Uh, we'll uh, make a start on this. Um, so we've got Backbone tonight, which is a um, daughter claim the bag. Oh, where's... I wanted to see you using it. <laughs> all right, so we're doing backbone tonight, which is quite an easy weave. Um, I am sure all you guys will um, be able to pick this up uh, quite quickly. We'll just uh, swap it over to the other camera and we'll make a start. Okay, so as usual, I have my pieces all made up to show you. So this weave runs with a um, suggested AR of five. Um, so, so for the 14 gauge, I actually chose uh, five sixteenths or 7.94 for the weave. Now this weave actually does look different depending on what side you look at it. I'm not 100% sure what's actually considered the front or the back. Um, I guess you wear it the way you like. Me personally, I think this side looks better. But that's the 14 gauge 5 sixteenths. And then we go for a 16 gauge. This one's a quarter inch. It's um, fairly airy. Not my favourite. You see it's got a slightly different look to the 14 gauge. Oh, Kerry, you're here. Beautiful. Okay, the one I like the most that I feel worked the best was the 18 gauge version. This was 3 sixteenths or 4.76. Uh, gave it a more solid feel. This one feels very open and loose to me. This one's a, a little bit more box-like in its shape. And then down to the 20 gauge, and this one is 5 30 seconds. Okay, fantastic. All right, so as usual tonight, we will be working in the 14 gauge to show you how to do this. So we'll pop this aside. As I said, the 18 gauge though is my favorite in, for that weave. All right, so as I said, nice and easy. We'll be we able to whip through this quite quickly, I'm sure. So we start with the clasp attachment ring or just a smaller ring, whatever you want to use. Close that up and pop your twist tie onto it, giving you a nice little handle to hold onto. And then we're going to take two of our, in this case, BA rings, and we're going to just pop that through the small clasp attachment ring. Close them up. All right, so we've got our two rings going through our clasp attachment. And we just want to hold these rings so that we give ourselves an eye. So they're just laying on top of each other. 
and forming up that eye there in the middle. And of course I can't find, oh, there it is, found it. So here's our eye here. And we're going to be putting our next ring around that eye. So taking up this time a color ring, going through the ring on the left and up around, sorry, ring on the right and up around the ring on the left so that we go around the eye that was formed by the two previous rings. You can see that there. And we close that ring up. Sleepless in New York. What are you doing in New York, Julie? Intriguing. Okay, so once we've uh, enclosed our color ring around the eye, we position that ring so that basically the front goes down, back end goes up. I just put my thumb on the top of it, make sure I hold it into place. And our next ring that we're going to place needs to go through all of these three rings. So through the eye that's formed by the two silver rings, at the same time going through the color ring that we've put in there. going through the eye, through the colouring, so that we're picking up all three rings there. And we close that up and we repeat that with a second ring. <clears throat> so once we have that second ring in place, the weave starts to tighten up a little bit, but we want it to sit, sit those two rings like we did at the beginning so that we've got a little bit of an eye happening there. You can see the eye here. It will sit opposite to the previous set. You can see they're not leaning the same way. And again, we're going to put one of our coloured rings around that eye. Okay, so just going around the eye. And we close it up. So your work should look like this. Next step, we hold down that coloured ring again, making sure that we can see still the eye that's formed by the two silver rings. And taking up a silver ring, I'm going to pop one straight through the eye picking up the colour ring as well. So picking up all three of our rings. We'll close it up. And do the exact same thing with a second ring. So through the eye, picking up the coloured ring as well. And that, guys, is basically a weave. You can see the, the, those rings then position us back the same as the two rings that we started off with. And you just rinse and repeat. Okay, so while we're waiting, or while we're doing that, we might as well do our little question for our prize giveaway. Okay, so our prize tonight is five bags of our stainless steel annealed stainless steel 16 gauge quarter inch rings so you'll get 50 grams in total of those rings we'll send those out to you and our question tonight if you want to play along and go into the prize drawer is do you prefer toggle or lobster clasp write that in the comments for you 
cookbook comments for us. We'll uh, take the names down, do the random number draw thing that we do each week, and we'll let you guys know tomorrow morning who will be the winner. So the prize is five bags of annealed stainless steel quarter-inch rings. <coughs> Um, toggle or lobster clasp only good for while our session is live guys so if you do that and uh, we'll put we'll give issue you guys with a random number and we'll let you all know tomorrow who the winner is okay so while you guys are typing away I'll just continue demonstrating this way so like I said super simple And um, I'm sure everybody will get it. All right, so we're back at our two initial starting rings again, like before, with them sitting on top of each other, making sure that we've got that eye there formed by the two rings. And we want to take one of our coloured rings and we want to put it through and around that eye. Put it around that eye, sorry, that wasn't very good wording. Put it around that eye. You can see there if I can get it close enough. Okay, and we close that up. Fabulous. And then we just hold that ring in place. I just put my thumb on it to make sure that it goes down at the front and up at the back. And basically we put our next silver ring or the next two silver rings through the eye there, making sure we pick up the coloured ring at the back as well. So we put one and then another one. And it. <laughs> None of those are toggle clasps or lobster clasps, darling. <laughs> you have to say one or the other to be in the draw. <laughs> All right, so we put our two silver rings in, this time laying in the opposite direction to the previous ones. And then taking up one of our coloured rings, going around the eye that's formed by those two silver rings. Closing her up. And then holding that colour ring down in front. Taking another silver ring, going through the eye formed by the two previous silver rings, picking up that colour ring as well. So we've got the three rings on there. Closing it up and we repeat that with a second ring. <coughs> oh, it's one of the first few. Well, I'm trying to weave, so I'm not seeing everybody's answers, unfortunately. So. <clears throat> Popping that second ring into place, and that's pretty much it. Now back to putting the colour ring around the eye. Okay, so I don't think anyone's going to have any troubles with that weave. To finish it off, let's see, I've got one floating around with a lobster, have I? No, I haven't. Oh, oh yes, I have. There we go. The big 14 gauge one. So we've got that ring that we started with down the end. That's what you would attach your clasp to. And I think I noticed in my tutorial I actually suggested putting the, the ring, the final one, through the three of them. You can see here I've actually only put it through the two silvers. It's up to you whether you want to put it through the, the, uh, the coloured ring or not. Um, in the 14 gauge it sits nicely without that ring having to be held in place. Something like the 16 gauge where that first ring is a bit, um, a bit looser. Those rings are a bit looser. You can see I've put a ring through there and held onto those. It keeps that ring a little bit more in place. So it really depends on the gauge that you've chosen and the ring size whether you need to hold that ring in place. Um, sometimes they can slip out of alignment, those ones, especially those ones on the end. 
Okay, but just to show you again, so you can see the 14 gauge 5 sixteenths or 7.94 rings, the 16 gauge a quarter inch, 18 gauge, which is my favourite, is 3 sixteenths, and um, <laughs> and the 20 gauge, sorry, I'm just laughing at Christopher, it's all right. 20 gauge, 5 30 seconds. Okay, fabulous. So we've, um, wow, we've finished really early, guys. Now what am I going to do? <laughs> that only took 15 minutes. <laughs> all right. Okay, let's slip back to this one. Um, yeah, I don't know what to talk to you about now. I'm all done. So uh, don't forget we're dance. going to... Hey? Dance. Dance. Oh, dance. No, where's... No, I haven't had any alcohol tonight. <laughs> Drink. I'm going to have to if you guys want me to dance or sing. <laughs> Wait a minute. Chris, get my tassels. <laughs> Again. All right. So, um, all right, just a couple of housekeeping things, I guess. So um, anybody who wants to sign up for our, well, our September kits have, September kits have all gone out. Um, I think just about everybody has gotten theirs. <laughs> if you um, don't um, have your, your kits for September yet, please let us know because I think just about everybody has. Uh, sign up for um, October kits will start on the 1st of September. So uh, sign ups are actually closed down at the moment. You can't register. If you want to register for October, then you have to wait for um, for them to open up again on the 1st of September and they'll be open until the 15th. Okay, yours is due Monday, Jenny. Oh, you're in Western Australia, is that right? Where are you? You must be far away if it's due Monday. Um, Sorry, excuse me. Yeah, so we've got that happening. Um, let's see what else is there. We've got um, our first happy hour tonight. I really expected this to go a bit longer. <laughs> our first happy hour tonight. Um, that starts at 7.30 um, and we'll go through to 8.30. I guess I might as well tell you guys what the um, sale is tonight. Margaret, you haven't got yours. You're only down in Melbourne. Okay, all right. I will go through the messages when I'm finished here and double check the tracking on everybody's. Everybody should have got an email with their tracking in it. To those that got an email that said they were also getting a beading mat, I am sorry. Um, I got caught out custing, uh, custing, cutting and pasting. Stop laughing at me. Cutting and pasting from um, a message and I inadvertently put that into a few people so I am sorry about that Catherine no unfortunately we are not going to hold MailCon this year we've made the decision that um, we're not going to be able to do it this year um, we've left everything maybe a little bit too late to organize it this year we're thinking next year we may we're, we're even tossing up the idea of making it a biannual event making it a bigger event um, but make doing it every two years rather than um, doing it every year so that's something that Chris and I will be discussing and and working out but no we made that decision a little while not not that long ago actually that we won't be running um, MailCon this year unfortunately we've had a lot of other things on our plate this year and we just can't do it justice um, so we, we would rather just give it a miss at this stage sorry guys oh now you made me all sad Julie Julie well, love a get together. Yeah, we well, we can try and do some together. sort of get together, maybe some sort of Christmas get together. See if we can organise something. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'd love to see some of you guys. I haven't um, haven't seen some of you guys for a while now, so I'd love to catch up again. Uh, especially with us not doing any uh, beating shows or anything like that at the moment, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, it's, it is just a day normally of workshops, Margaret, which is why we think if we do it every two years, we can do it over two or three days, make it a bigger deal. Um, but we would have to look at different venues. 
in order to do that than the one that we've currently used the last few years. Um, so it's a you know a bit of a thing that we have to look into and, and, and see whether or not we can take that on. Oh Julie, don't break my heart, love. Sleepless and sad. Soccer season's almost finished, Eric. Oh thank god we don't do soccer seasons anymore. <laughs> All right. Okay. So yeah. So sorry, guys. No, definitely no Malcolm this year. Uh, but next year, um, hopefully, we'll come back bigger and better. Um, and we'll probably ask for some feedback through the year or as we um, start putting plans together. Um, so, oh, as I was saying before, I was reading messages. We've got our happy hour, our first happy hour this week. So from 7.30 to 8.30, the sale that we'll be running tonight is 20% uh, sale off our 14 gauge, 14 gauge anodized aluminium. So any anodized aluminium in the 14 gauge that's purchased between 7.30 and 8.30 tonight, and it must be finalized before 8.30, guys, because we're going to flick it off and you won't get it, um, we'll get 20% off. Oh, it's a hubby play, not the boys. Oh, okay. Well, that might be a bit different then. Um, so that's tonight, 14 gauge AA only, 20% off between the hours of 7.30 and 8.30. So we hope you guys have a little bit of fun with that. And I think that's it. Is there anything I've forgotten, Chris? Nope. Nope. <laughs> All right, well, that was really quick tonight. Sorry about that, guys. Um, it... Um, mailed up quicker than I thought it would. That's because you guys are all too clever. And um, I think we're done. Ah, I'm sorry, Susie. You're going to have to find some 14 gauge. I give lots of lovely examples each week of what you can do with 14 gauge. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So thank you very much. As I said, from 7.30 to 8.30, um, 14 gauge, 20% off in the AA section. We'll see you guys next week. We start a whole new month with some new weaves. I've got some, um, well, I think they're great new weaves for next month. I'm excited for some of them. So um, Wednesday we'll see the new event go up and our subscribers get the copy of their PDF. Friday uh, the PDF uh, weekly subscribers will get their copy. Um, but if it's a little late, guys, just give us a nudge. Um, sometimes we just get caught up in doing stuff and, and we run a little bit late. But um, if you're worried at all or you don't, you haven't received it or something, let us know. All right, guys, thank you very much. We'll get ready um, for this uh, sale. We'll get that started for you and hopefully some of you can pick up a bargain on, on some product that you want. And we will catch you all next week. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.